Uh, I'm Kim Green. I'm a uh, apple and cherry grower here in Lenswood. Uh, our property name is Elamata Orchards. We have uh, 15 hectares of apples and the same of cherries. We grow quite a diverse range of uh, cherries to cover the whole cherry season. We start off with um, Merchant, Stella, Summit, all these lovely varieties are really sweet. Uh, finishing up with Lapins and uh, Sweetheart. So we pick for about six weeks. Apples on the other hand, we do all the major varieties, uh, Galas, Red Delicious, Granny Smiths, Pink Ladies and uh, Fuji. So our orchard is all high density uh, planting, so that means that we plant a lot of trees per hectare. So on the apples we're on something like 4,000 trees per hectare, uh, mostly in double rows. And cherries we're on about 1,500 trees per hectare, also in double rows. So we try to keep our cherries nice and compact so we pick them all from the ground, which is quite uh, different from the norm because I think most people know that cherry trees can grow 10 metres high. So many of the days we spend up there picking on ladders and climbing around. Well now it's all done from the ground and we can pick some fantastic fruit uh, per hectare. So the cherry system that, we, that I developed is called the KGB, which is a Kim Green's bush, which means, I being Kim Green, and bush means it's a small tree. So we try to make the tree really compact and very short, so you still have the main uh, fruiting limbs per hectare, the same lineal metres per hectare as a big tree, but we do it all from the ground. And that way it makes the tree really compact, really sturdy, which sort of makes the fruit really big. Originally we developed it because we wanted to put a bird net over our orchard and it was very difficult when you got six metre trees. So we decided to take the tops off and wow, keeps the birds out, we can put the net in there. But the, the upside was no ladders and we had the ability to grow better fruit because the light distribution in a small compact tree is a lot better than a big old uh, tree. So we on our farm do a a bit of a mismatch of different uh, systems. We'll still do a bit of conventional farming, you know, where we use chemical. We'll do some organic stuff and we'll also use uh, b the biodynamic uh, preparations. Biodynamics basically are products put in animal parts like uh, cow horns, uh, the mesonary, the skull, the bladder, and put in the soil over winter generally and they dug up and basically what it does is that the wintering concentrates the energy of that product and we will then put it in water, stir it and spray it out. So it's like a herbal tea and we've had some fantastic results uh, with that, particularly this last season where we did a dandelion prep at flowering and varieties that we'd had that were really shy in cropping, man, we just set up a fantastic crop and they sized, so we were just stoked. The future of the industry is probably at the crossroads at the moment. I think our conventional guys are getting handicapped by the cost of product. Um, they're into like a, almost a hybrid system, all high input, all expensive. And at the end of the day, we've still got pests and disease. Whereas I think what I'm trying to head down a path is why is the disease, why is the pest there in the first place? Let's try and change the energy of the farm with better soil, better organic matter, balancing the nutrients up, and we are finding that we're getting a lot, lot less uh, pest and disease than what we had previously. I've probably been very fortunate, I've been able to travel quite a bit since my Nuffield scholarship back in 93, which is a farming scholarship that uh, innovative farmers are uh, awarded, but you have to disseminate the information to other growers when you come back, so that's part and parcel of it. And so I travelled, I've probably done 20 odd trips overseas, always looking at cherry and apple production um, and now I've been able to return some of my knowledge back to other growers particularly in the states and, and now in Chile where they're developing my KGB for this for their region and that's really cool that you can you know I'm just a grower here in Lenswood be able to help some of the, the major cherry producers in the in the world so pretty cool